Have you seen Ben Shibito's take on this? I kind of, I, I, I hate that I'm going to agree with him. Honestly, what was amazing about that New York Times documentary was the suggestion that people who obsessively follow Britney Spears caused her to become mentally ill, but also people who obsessively follow Britney Spears should now make mental decisions for her. Uh, I find the, the public push, especially from a media that should know better, pretty disturbing. So I've noticed uh, a lot what? of focus around the Britney Spears story. So the New York Times brought out a documentary about Free Britney, the Free Britney movement. It is a terrible documentary. I mean, truly a bad documentary. The reason I say that it's bad is because it actually deals with none of the major underlying issues. So the whole thing is about Britney Spears being placed under conservatorship. Never mind. I uh, I thought I would end up agreeing with Ben Shabibo, but uh, turns out I was wrong. Never mind. I thought he was going to take like a, a free Britney approach. Yeah, why well, agree with someone before you hear what they have to say? That's so weird, dude. How much are you, dude, how much are you watching this guy that you feel like you'd be agreeing on a human rights issue? I mean, I really did think that this was going to be at least one human rights abuse that this fucking libertarian dipshit would libertarian dipshit would not side with the with the big government overreach on but then again he is unironically uh anti-abortion so i don't think female bodily autonomy is uh is something that he's ever considered in his life so her father is her conservator uh, the reason that she was placed under conservatorship is because apparently she was suicidal it seems like she was suicidal that she suffers from at the very least bipolar, we don't actually know her mental health situation because nobody has access to that information. What we do know is that before she had a conservatorship, she involves herself in a bunch of bizarre behavior up to and including violent behavior. And conservatorship is not in a lightly undertaken process in the state of California. To actually be given a conservatorship, you basically have to demonstrate that you are a continuing danger. People seem to think that because Britney Spears can perform, this means that in the rest of her life, she's doing fine. There's very little evidence of that. Wait, there's very little evidence of that? What the fuck? You have no evidence at all that her, her, her conservatorship should be extended and continued. You have a fuckload of evidence that, like, she is a victim of domestic abuse from her abusive father who's an alcoholic. You have evidence to point that, like, she's capable of, you know, making millions and millions of dollars, but that's not enough evidence to be like, well, she can't demonstrate that she is, uh, she can't demonstrate that she's good at, like, dealing with herself and, and, uh, and, and having autonomy. But you have zero evidence to point to the contrary as to why her conservatorship should be justifiable or continued, and you're still taking that position. You have significantly less evidence. Who themselves seem kind of crazy. Right? Rallying outside of a courthouse, talking about free Britney, hashtag free Britney, interviews at length, people who spend their time decoding Britney Spears' Instagram feed, which I'm not sure why that is a good source for a documentary. I mean, it, it could, they, those could be QAnon folks. Like, you just don't know. The, anybody who spends all day online decrypting signs is probably somebody you don't want to trust on whether somebody ha has a mental health problem that requires outside help. To be fair, I hate to say it, and people are going to get triggered because I know that I, I picked up some uh, free Britney people, but like that part is not crazy. I know that the free Britney movement actually was able to uh, get a lot of attention to this issue, but he's not fully wrong about it beyond like, you know, analysis and decryption of like a uh, secret Instagram post messages, you know? Free Britney movement is correct overall in the overarching uh, uh, argument that they launch, which is that this person should not be uh, under uh, this this incredibly restrictive conservatorship agreement. But uh, when it when it goes to the lengths where it's like, oh, well, we analyze like Instagram descriptions, well, then yeah. Uh oh, Hassan added some nuance to his stance on this. So now chatters are gonna go nuts again. Yeah, pick a side, dude. Why the fuck do you love conservatorships and think they're the best thing that could have ever happened? And why do you love that it's happening to Britney Spears? Pick a fucking side, dude. I know people who have been child stars. It is it is not good for families. It is not good for children. Britney Spears was basically abandoned at the age of 15 by her parents in New York, and that was a sin. It shouldn't have happened. And then she was turned into a, a child star. And then she was sexualized at an extremely early age, obviously, with Oops, I Did It Again, dressed in the, the bare midriff Catholic schoolgirl uniform. I believe she was 16 when she did that. And she was turned into a sex symbol before she was of age, which was really aphibophilic and terrible for American society. It was terrible to her. It was terrible of her parents. A man said aphibophilic. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. He is a libertarian. We know that she became so unstable that in a custody hearing between her and her husband, Kevin Federlein, she was not granted full custody or even half custody. It was like a 70-30 custody arrangement, I believe, or an 80-20 custody arrangement. And now that, that really cuts against the grain in California. In California, the laws regarding custody in a divorce hearing really favor the mom pretty heavily. Oh, God, I hate that Ben is making the same point that I made earlier, which, in my opinion, was like at least somewhat evidence that 
that there could have been some things that we are unaware of. I use that as a, as evidence to, to at least be a little bit more critical and not immediately say like, there was no use for the conservatorship, judging by what people around her had said at the time as well. Even then though, I feel like it's too aggressive. I just don't know. There must have been something that we don't know, but uh, it's certainly inappropriate for as long as it went on for. And also even beyond that, if there is no additional evidence that we weren't privy to, then it's fucking completely preposterous. And at the very least, an investigation should be conducted. So my position is not the same as uh, Ben Shapiro's in that with respect to that. Like, I, I do think that we should find out, or at least the proper authorities should conduct an investigation to find out whether it was appropriate to begin with. And the New York Times has big sources on this. The people who they talk to in this documentary are people like her personal assistant for several years who was hired by the family to kind of be her chaperone for, for several years, but who has not been that for, for many years. Lawyers who are not involved in the case and who haven't seen any of the internal documents. People who are online fans who hold hashtag free Britney signs. Here's my question. Do any of them have any information that suggests that she is mentally well enough to handle her own business? Dude, what the fuck? Dude, he's crazy, dude. I feel like he just sits in front of a blackboard and he just like mathematically, he puts together like a math equation to figure out scientifically the worst position to take on every issue. Libertarian, by the way. Talked about ephibophilia, but then also simultaneously is like totally on board with the government allowing a person to be completely uh, sub subjected to slavery. There was a photo of her driving on with her kid in her lap. Yeah, that's idiotic, dude. That's not enough to fucking like, that's crazy. Oh, okay. I guess she should be enslaved. Oh, never mind, dude. Okay. She's a redneck, dude. That's like real hick mom behavior. Okay. Yeah. Some of you have never been to Louisiana and it shows. My argument isn't like she shaved her head, she almost dropped her kid, and she had her kid on her lap while she was driving like a fucking millions of redneck moms uh, all around the country. My point is, in the beginning, there might have been something more that uh, they were able to show in a court that we are unaware of like because of pre-existing laws that, you know, would make this a HIPAA violation for us to even know about because it's a deeply personal thing. But even then, it doesn't matter. It's like nothing. You can't justify a 13-year conservatorship agreement where like her finances are completely limited, but she's still making millions and millions of dollars and being forced to fucking work and shit. Like that's nuts. It makes no sense. It's ridiculous. You have to be like just delusionally blind with your loyalty to the American criminal justice system, specifically the pussy ass libtard California criminal justice system which Ben Shapiro surprisingly is uh, defending hook, line, and sinker, to think that the continuation of the conservatorship for 13 years is justifiable when she was literally touring the world and doing TV shows at a residency in Vegas. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, according to the Superior Court of California, a mental health conservatorship, which is an LPS conservatorship, conservatorship makes one adult, the conservator, responsible for a mentally ill adult. The most common illnesses are serious biological brain disorders like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, schizoaffective disorder, clinical depression, and obsessive compulsive disorder. What the fuck? OCD is enough? Dude, that's crazy. I'm glad that like more people don't get locked into conservatorships. Like just being bipolar or having OCD. I know OCD can be really crippling, guys. Why, why can't chat be <laughs> charitable to things that I'm trying to say? Imagine someone with OCD getting locked into a conservatorship. I know that it can be completely debilitating. I understand, but there's still a range, right? That's what I'm fearful of. And by the way, disability activists literally agree with me on this. So shut the fuck up. I don't mean like, uh, I'm not devaluing OCD and how debilitating it can be. Same with bipolar. Same with all the other uh, uh, mental health problems that Ben Shapiro mentioned. I'm saying that like the fact that that is like enough in the in the legal in the eyes of the fucking legal system is like crazy dude honestly one of the reasons that you see such a huge homeless problem in in places like california is because it is very very difficult to get adults institutionalized or to provide conservatorships for adults without their permission so the fact that britney spears actually was placed into a conservatorship suggests all available evidence all available evidence suggests that she has a very severe problem obviously what all available evidence no, you're just, you're literally just saying, okay, that's bullshit. I never said that. I said that on top of the things that we have seen in public, there had to have been at least some level of evidence that we're not privy to as a consequence of 
you know, HIPAA laws and shit like that, because it's a deeply private matter that justified the conservatorship originally, potentially. And even then I'm saying like, it's still, I, I would like to see the evidence. Because if his argument unironically is like, well, Britney Spears shaved her head and then hypothetically, she drove a car and the baby was sitting in the front seat. And that's enough evidence for me to know that uh, she does not deserve to have autonomy over her own body. Then you're a psychopath. No, his argument is the same as you, that the court probably had the evidence. No, but he's not just saying that. He's taking it one step further. All available evidence, all available evidence suggests that she has a very severe problem, which is why a court found this week that her conservatorship should not be oh, removed. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. He is just saying that, like, the fact that she was placed in a conservatorship to begin with means that there was enough evidence. Never mind. She has not. I misunderstood. I thought he said, like, there's obviously very uh, available evidence out. All of her money. She has not blown through all of her money. She has not attempted suicide so far as we are aware. Her, her father, for all the grief that he is getting, apparently has been protecting her from the paparazzi. Oh, my God. Dude, are you fucking insane? Dude. Oh, wow. Dude, that's really bad. He's a really bad person. Ben Shapiro is a horrible person, dude. Oh my fucking God, dude. That's insane. Apparently the father is protecting her from paparazzi. Well, one, there are new laws in place. And also Instagram. We talked about this extensively when I was covering the Free Britney movement. That like a big part of what made paparazzis, uh, paparazzi so aggressive was because of how much money they could get. Because previously, uh, you could not find celebrities like and 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 you know living their living out their like personal lives and shit like that. But that kind of went away uh, after Instagram came into play and celebrities were willingly posting about themselves. Um, but also beyond that, laws were uh, put in place that made it illegal for what paparazzis do. So that's kind of an important point that Ben is just not even glancing at. It's cool. It's cool to say slavery is A-OK. -okay. After all, none of the slaves are, right now are trying to kill themselves. And in the process of being enslaved, the paparazzi can't attack uh, Britney Spears. So it's very good, actually. And the people who obsessively follow Britney Spears what? caused her to become mentally ill, but also people who obsessively follow Britney Spears should now make mental decisions for her, should, should, should make decisions on behalf of a court. If celebrity destroyed Britney Spears, more celebrity ain't going to be the cure. Exposing her directly to that ain't going to be the cure. Like, what's the situation for a libertarian to agree with, like, losing your own bodily autonomy? Just avoiding paparazzi? Is that a good enough situation that justifies uh, just completely... Taking away all bodily autonomy. Hey, doesn't matter. Ultimately, uh, uh, hypothetically, you're no longer uh, seeing paparazzi. Uh, you're not trying to kill yourself. So uh, I think it's a win-win. I hate to I hate to bring this up, but I mean, this is literally because Ben doesn't think women should have autonomy. <laughs> Straight up. It's like any situation that hypothetically allows a woman to be enslaved is a good one. It's literally just what the fuck. The Spears delivered a powerful 24 minute statement. The judge cannot make any ruling based on what she said as she has still yet to file a petition to terminate her conservatorship. So she can't, she hasn't even filed. People are saying, oh, the court is biased against her. She hasn't even filed the, the, the paperwork to terminate her conservatorship at this point. Imagine my surprise when I find out another conservative is not on board with freedom. Individual liberties. Imagine my surprise when I found out that uh, here we have yet another pro-slavery conservative. Fuck, man. So different. I mean, so different than conservative positions always. The Wait. 2K a week equals slave wages? Are you fucking stupid, dude? Bro, she literally rakes in like, like $100 million or some shit. Like she, her net worth is like $100 million and she only gets given $2,000 a week of that money. Are, are you fucking nuts? It's actually like saying, well, you know, how could you say slavery is bad? After all, these slaves were living in a house. They had a shelter over their heads. The problem with that is that if it were, it's not up to her, okay? She's only getting 2K a week of the millions of dollars a week that she generates, dude. The worst part is like her lawyer that is keeping her shackled. It's paid five times more than she does to do that, to continue this process. Now, again, one of the problems here is people who suffer from mental illness are not reliable narrators. They are not. Okay? I, I have people in my family who have had severe mental illness. They're not reliable narrators of their own life story. Oh, brother. Listen, by the way. Disability activists in the chat, if you haven't already left because you uh, think I'm the worst ableist to ever, you know, cross your crosshairs. This is horrific. 
okay he is being extremely ableist this is actual ableism for those of you who don't know for those of you who don't understand like saying that someone with a mental health problem is not a reliable narrator is psychotic it's literally saying like yeah you have a disability like you're not human okay we will unironically take your humanity from you we can do whatever the fuck we want with you you know put you in a camp whatever you're just you, you have a disability so sorry this isn't a moment where it's like debatable where you know uh touch grass is ableist he's just straight up saying like you were disabled no rights for you and no one should believe you in a lot of instances about the fact that my grandfather suffered from schizoaffective disorder when he was schizoaffective, he was not in a position to make decisions for himself or his family. He ended up in an institution for a short period of time before he- Wow, well, dude, it's crazy. Like, um, you know, all people with uh, mental illnesses are the same. It's not a fucking spectrum. That's why I said I understand the conservatorship argument. Like, my grandmother has Alzheimer's, okay? I get that. She would not be able to take care of herself if it wasn't for her, her family taking care of her every step of the way. I totally understand that. My grandmother is also diagnosed with Alzheimer's like late stage at this point and has been for years. Very different than, you know, a 39 year old woman who is raking in a hundred million dollars. Like, My grandmother can't fucking make money. Okay. She can barely fucking walk on her own. Would not be able to feed herself. Okay. If it wasn't for someone who is taking care of her, there's a difference between the spectrum of disorders and disabilities and someone who can demonstrate that they're making a hundred million dollars a year by fucking literally being in front of the camera performing going all around the world and doing all this shit like a show pony is a little bit different than someone who deserves uh, who, who would be better off under a conservatorship spears's case has garnered an enormous amount of global attention with pressure mounting to support the pop star and remove her father from the conservatorship but again it is not supporting people who are mentally ill to treat them as fully capable of making decisions for themselves. It's not true. They should ask Ben Shapiro if like his grandfather who was institutionalized, one, appreciated that, and two, was he capable of doing uh, the same things that Britney Spears is like demonstrably capable of doing that we have been able to see with our own two fucking eyes and hear with our own two ears, you know what I mean? Like, probably not, I assume. I assume both are no's. Okay, the answer to both of them. <laughs> yeah, Ben's argument can be reduced to, if you think about it, hypothetically, treating mentally ill people like full-fledged human beings is actually not good. <laughs> That's literally what he's saying. My grandfather was mentally ill and we institutionalized him. And that was actually pretty good, hypothetically. This is a weird take. Severely disabled people can be exploited too low. No, I completely understand that. And they do get uh, exploited. It's actually, yeah, isn't it unethical to parade around a mentally ill person? Like, that's the other part. If the conservatorship is justifiable, isn't it kind of worse that you, like, literally were abusing and, and exploiting someone for years? This person can't take care of themselves, but you literally force them out in public and, like, literally force them to make shit so you can make money. Like, that's, I mean, they're just not a human. They're not. We're treating them, we're treating Britney Spears like an animal. That's it, okay? If a 13-year-long conservatorship is justifiable, then... It's ridiculous that the people that were in charge of that conservatorship were literally just fucking, you know, keeping her uh, or, or parading her around and making her do shit. That's because again, all of this cuts in favor of the fact that Britney Spears does not seem fully capable of taking care of her own life. And again, letting her perform on stage is not the same thing as letting her, in the same way, by the way, that it's almost as though she's frozen in time. Child stars perform. They're not in control of their finances. They're not in control of their life. Mentally, incompetent people can perform this does not mean conservative saying that someone is you know frozen in time is pretty funny when conservatism is literally the ideology of freezing time so i cried on the phone for an hour he loved every minute of it she said referring to her father the control he had over someone as powerful as me he loved the control to hurt his own daughter a hundred thousand percent he loved it she said i want my life back it's been 13 years it's enough it's been a long time since i've owned my money it's my wish and my dream for all this to end without being tested again she lives in a very big house she has access to her kids again all of this relies on a fact, not in evidence, and that only the court has seen. If you if you believe in the free Britney thing, it's because you are relying on rumors. The only people who have seen the actual mental health what? information surrounding- Dude, he's literally saying that the courts are correct. He's just saying that the courts are correct. And there is no reason to, to suspect that there is foul play here and that you don't believe, like, just don't believe your lying eyes. Again, I'm just going to repeat something here. If you are- justifiably in a 13 year long conservatorship, then it makes no sense that you should be paraded around like a fucking show pony and make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. It's one or the other. You can't have it both ways. It makes no sense. Ben is literally a cuck to the California court system. My man is just defending whatever the fuck they're putting out here right now, which is wild. Even if there is actually like something that does not make sense.
something as simple as like you're able to make a hundred million dollars a year but you can't take care of yourself and you want to get out of it but like the court system is not letting you get out of it it's very weird right the actual judges who adjudicate these cases and they have looked at the evidence and they have repeatedly decided over the course of more than a decade that Britney Spears is not capable of handling her own life. So who are you going to believe? The, the folks who are doggedly reinterpreting her Instagram page or a court that has to look at this evidence every few months? I mean, dude, I wonder why the court could fucking uh, have such a take when, uh, I don't know, people like you who went to Harvard Law unironically advocate to hundreds of thousands of people that like disabled people just ha should have no autonomy. I wonder how a court system that routinely denies uh, autonomy to disabled people would then go on and do such a thing again. Perhaps it has something to do with the fact that we literally look at disabled people as like not full human beings. I don't know, maybe. As somebody who actually cares about the, the wellness of mentally ill individuals and, and making sure that they're not victimized by others, uh, I find the, the public push, especially from a media that should know better, pretty disturbing. There has never been investigative journalism done by the New York Times or anyone else, by the way, on this issue or on any other issue. All of that is just rumors. He reduced the entirety of the, the, the robust investigative reporting on this issue to just Instagram posts by silly fucking QAnon supporter resembling uh, Free Britney movement people. That's wild.